Right now, voters are casting their ballots in the special election for the 80th Assembly District. The seat became vacant after Lorena Gonzalez announced she was stepping down to accept another job. ABC 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is joining us. And uh, Rachel, three candidates are going for this seat. Hi. Hi, Derek. The gym here at Webster Elementary is one of nine voting centers. Now, these centers replace traditional neighborhood polling locations. The winner must get more than half of the votes. There are more than three people. There are three people competing for the seat. Pastor Nathan Moore is passionate about voting in person. In person allows my community to see that I support the system that we have established in our country. But also, I set the example for my wife and my children. Moore is one of nearly 250,000 registered voters in the 80th district. The area includes Chula Vista, National City, and parts of South San Diego. This is a special election to fill Assemblymember Lorena Gonzalez's seat. She stepped down in January to lead the California Labor Federation. Turnout is expected to be low, 15 to 20 percent, not uncommon in a special election. The winner will fill out the rest of Gonzalez's term Term, which ends in December. You want a competent and capable individual to make those decisions, and not someone who's just going to come in and make it simply because of uh, special interest groups or, you know, they just fall in line with the party. This is the first special election under the Voters' Choice Act. There are now nine voting centers instead of the assigned neighborhood polling locations. In the traditional polling place model, voters had to go to their assigned polling place on election day. Under the Voters' Choice Act model, they have vote centers. They could go to any vote center and it's open for multiple days. The candidate who wins more than half the votes takes over the seat. If no one does, there will be a runoff with the top two candidates on June 7th. That also happens to be the same day as the regular primary election. The same three candidates are running in the June election for the next term. The voting centers that we've been to today have been pretty slow, but 80% of registered voters in the county are permanent vote by mail and early voting uh, started about a month ago for this special election. Again, the polls will close at 8. Reporting live in Webster, Rachel Bianco, ABC 10 News.